If you're a breeder or a consumer and you're in the market for a new puppy, I'm about to take you behind the scenes of a real life puppy scam. If you wanna learn how to avoid them, then you definitely wanna watch this video. Let's get it. Hey guys, Darren here from sunshinepartyyorkies.com and I'm not quite sure I have the words to express how seeing good people taken advantage of by these scammers just pisses me off. The only way we're going to shut these scammers down is through education. That means knowing what to look for, making everyone else aware of who these scammers are, reporting them, and making it harder for them to do what they do. Here are the facts. As the number of consumers shopping online for puppies has increased, so too have the number of online puppy scams. These scams affect hardworking people. Whether you're a family looking for the perfect pet or one of the many reputable breeders who breed them, we're all affected. So the question of the day is, how do you avoid an online puppy scam? The answer? Well, it's a lot easier if you understand the basic anatomy of an online puppy scam and what red flags to look for. Today is March 15th, 2021, and this little guy's name is Archie. Archie here was a recent subject of an online puppy scam, the one that prompted this very video, in which the scammers used stolen images and video of Archie to lure in potential victims to their scams. So who do these scams target? They target pretty much anyone shopping for a puppy online. But when you look deeper, these scams are really designed to target deal shoppers. Scammers often use search terms such as free or cheap because they know that many people begin their online search for puppies using these search terms. Others will use deeply discounted prices such as five or six hundred dollars in their online ads. They do this to attract as many victims as possible to their scams. Their thought? Because of the lower price point, you're likely to ask fewer questions and often send money without so much as a phone call. Since they aren't actual breeders, these scammers often steal photos from the real breeder's website or social media profile. These stolen photos are then used in fake puppy listings on websites such as Craigslist. Just as commonly, scammers create entire Facebook and Instagram profiles using these stolen photos just to make their scams look more legit. If you aren't careful and you don't know what to look for, you just might find yourself on the losing end of one of these scams. Not only won't you get your puppy, but it's highly unlikely you'll ever get your money back either. Now that you know what the scam looks like, let's go behind the scenes of a real life puppy scam. We'll take a look at the social media profile used in the scam, as well as the text messages between the scammer and their target victim. I'll show breeders how to better protect their photos and video. I'll even show you what happened when our breeder Jen called this scammer out. And we're doing all of this with the help of someone who almost fell victim to this scammer. Let's go get him. This is what the scammer's Instagram profile looks like. Now, there's a legitimate looking Facebook profile using the same name and photo. I've messaged that individual for comment, but haven't heard back yet. My guess is the profile photo was also stolen. I can't imagine a scammer would use their real identity. The name we know is also stolen. I imagine the same is true for the profile information. Now, maybe I watch too much television, but I imagine some guy in a seedy internet cafe on the other side of the world is behind this scam. Why is the account set to private? Clearly it's to hide all of the stolen photo and video from the real owners and to keep the scam from being exposed. Now I know this to be true because we sent multiple follow requests from different profiles and all were blocked but one. It just so happens it was the one that didn't look like it was associated with a breeder. Now that we're inside, let's take a look around. The scammer's profile says they only accept Cash App payments. And in case you didn't know, Cash App can't guarantee a refund if you don't get what you paid for. That's a definite red flag. Moments ago, I mentioned the account was likely set to private to protect the scam. Well, that was accurate because seven of the nine videos posted here were stolen from Sunshine Party Yorkies and the others from other breeders. They just crop out the information. As breeders, you should always watermark your content, but because the scammers are cropping out your information, you may need to change the way you do it. The more discreet your watermark, the easier it is for a scammer to crop it out or cover it up. Now, the image to the left is our revised approach to watermarking. There are a number of free and fee-based apps available for Android and iPhone, but we use an app called Watermark. So what else can you look for? If the profile photos, cover photos, and mobile uploads are limited in numbers or are too recent, that can be a red flag. Scammers often close one profile and open a new one when their scam has been discovered. Be on the lookout for bogus reviews. These scammers even create fake profiles just to create fake reviews. In example number one, 
They're just trying way too hard. Of course they're real, they say. And they allegedly purchased a puppy one year ago, but just got around to sending a review. In example number two, often scammers are in other countries, so poor grammar and punctuation can also be red flags. Note also that these reviews were submitted back to back. Scammers often piggyback a legitimate breeder's social media account in hopes of finding potential victims. If you're a breeder, keep an eye on your notifications. Last night we noticed a cluster of notifications in a relatively short time. When we clicked them, here's what we found. We had a proverbial boatload of comments on our photos, all from the same account. Now, this alone doesn't scream scammer. It's what we found when we looked at the comments that did. A profile using the name Paul Paul posted comments containing a link to a puppy scam Facebook profile under dozens of raw images. Often, breeders are unaware of this because the comments are posted as replies to their followers. If you follow a breeder and see this, don't click that link. Instead, message the owner of the page and let them know what you found. No legitimate breeder would ever post available puppies on another breeder's page. So what can breeders do to protect their page? Well, once you're aware of the situation, you can ban the scammer's profile. This will simultaneously hide all of their comments and links. It's a lot easier than deleting them one at a time. Let's take a closer look at what happened. The victim received a friend request from the scammer. Eventually, she saw one of the stolen photos of Archie and asked about him. And the scammer went to great lengths to make the scam look legitimate. They even created a fake conversation pretending to be the real breeder and her daughter. This is a screenshot of the conversation, which they sent to the victim. They were really selling their scam. Now here's where things went wrong for the scammer. When asked for additional photos, they accidentally sent a link to the real breeder's profile. Now this screenshot shows what happened next. The victim reached out to the real breeder to confirm the conversation she received in the screenshot was in fact real. And that's where the wheels fell off. After our breeder confirmed that Archie was no longer available and that this was a total scam, she tried to scam the scammer, which is a lot harder than you can imagine. She realized pretty quickly that this was an experienced scammer with absolutely no conscience. Eventually, they just began trading insults. Our breeder had a few tricks of her own up her sleeve. So to close the loop, she used what little information she could gather from the victim and the screenshots to warn other potential victims they were targeting about the scam. And what she found shouldn't be a surprise to anyone. This scammer had several people all ready to place deposits on Archie and that's money they would never get back. One of the target victims is a cancer survivor with a 13-year-old daughter. They were scraping the money together for the deposit when they received the message from our breeder. Now, they were sad, but they were also thankful that they didn't get scammed. Unfortunately, that page at last I checked is still up and running. This scammer is absolutely heartless. Find her profile, guys, and let's run her off the internet. So here are some other red flags to be aware of. Having this information could help ensure your online puppy buying experience is both safe and enjoyable. Don't fall for unrealistically low or deeply discounted prices. I can't stress this enough. If the price is too good to be true, then it probably is. Real breeders often invest tens of thousands of dollars and countless hours into their breeding programs. That's why deeply discounted prices are almost always fraud. Do your due diligence. Make sure you research the prices for the breed that you're interested in before you begin your online search. Remember, knowledge is power. Seller won't communicate by phone. If the seller by words or actions refuses to communicate by phone before you send a deposit, that's a definite red flag. If they actively limit their conversation to email, Instagram, or communicator, that should be cause for concern. Remember, how they respond to you requesting a telephone call should tell you everything you need to know about them. Many scammers are located outside the US, so communicating only by messenger is often a means of hiding their telephone number and ultimately their real identity. If your breeder isn't local and meeting in person isn't a possibility, a real breeder will always jump on a telephone call or a video chat before selling you a puppy. The seller only accepts shady methods of payment. If a seller says they only accept wire transfers, prepaid gift cards, or debit cards, don't fall for it. Even some popular apps such as Cash App can't guarantee a refund if you don't get what you pay for. Make sure you do your research before sending your money. Apps that offer little to no consumer protection are often preferred by scammers because the last thing they want to do is send you your money back. 
Stolen or stock photos or video. As breeders, we try to watermark all of our video and photo content, not only as a means of protecting ourselves, but to protect consumers from scammers as well. It's often tedious and time consuming, and sometimes we miss the mark, but we have to do better. The scammers will do whatever is easiest for them. They'll use stock photos or their steal photo and video content that hasn't been watermarked. Depending on where the watermark is located, some will attempt to crop the image, blur out the watermark, or cover it completely with another image such as a GIF. Remember, the more discreet the watermark, the easier you make it for the scammer to cover it up. Your watermark should be your logo or contact information such as a phone number or your website address, something that tells people where they can find you and not the scammer. The best watermarks are often opaque and extend from the top of one corner to the bottom of another, even covering the animal. As in the example here, this creates far too much work for the scammer to cover up and it shows a potential victim how they might contact you, the real owner of the photo. Another common scam to be aware of is the free dog or discounted shipping scam. These scams are often tied to fake shipping companies that offer a free dog to a good home. All you have to do is pay for the shipping. Once a victim falls for this scam, the scammer begins asking for money to cover unexpected fees, fees that they were not aware of prior to agreeing to ship the puppy. The scammer will use a myriad of excuses, such as shipping insurance, vaccinations, additional paperwork, or the shipping company is requiring an air-conditioned crate for the dog. The point is, once the scammer has a victim on the hook, they'll use every excuse in the book to keep them sending money for as long as possible. So you're probably wondering what you can do, or even if you can find a reputable breeder online. Well, now that you know how scammers operate and what red flags to look for, here are some additional things you can do. Ask to meet your breeder in person. If you're dealing with a local breeder, ask to meet the breeder and the puppy in person. When that's not possible, ask for a video chat, but make sure in this chat that you can clearly see the breeder holding the puppy and that you are able to ask questions and interact with them. Don't buy your puppy off of Craigslist. Real breeders don't post ads on Craigslist. They often have waiting lists and they don't need to search for buyers. Don't wire money or send prepaid cards. While you may think you're sending money to secure your claim on a puppy, you're actually being scammed. Wiring money is a lot like sending cash. There's no way to track it. A real breeder will never ask you to wire money. I sincerely hope this information will help you begin or continue your puppy search as safely as possible. Remember, don't ignore the red flags. Ask as many questions as you need to to feel comfortable and always report puppy scams when you discover them. We wish you the best of luck on your search. Well, that's it for this video, guys. We certainly hope you found the information in this video useful, but remember, we don't know all the scenarios and we certainly don't have all the answers. So if you or someone you know has ever been a victim of an online puppy scam, please share your story in the comments below. Your story could keep someone else from being scammed. Thanks for watching.